Hi there, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to take a quick look at this Bulldog Winch 8-piece rigging kit. Uh, this is going to include 8 of these uh, accessories that you'll need for your recovery winch. Uh, this will include this 3-inch uh, by 10-inch long heavy-duty polyester tree saver strap. Uh, this does have a brake strength of 30,000 pounds and a working load limit of 10,000 pounds. Uh, we do have reinforced end loops here, and so it is going to give us plenty of strength uh, so that we can have a nice solid connection. Uh, we do also have a sewn-in tie cord here uh, so we can easily store this. Just wrap that around there so we don't have to worry about our strap coming loose. Uh, likewise, we're also going to have a 3-inch by 30-foot recovery strap with a 30,000-pound brake strength and 10,000-pound working load limit. Same heavy-duty polyester construction, uh, same reinforced end loops here, and the same sewn-in tie cord for our storage. We're also going to get uh, one snatch block. This is going to allow you to uh, change the direction of your pull or increase your pulling power. This does have a 19,000 pound braking strength and an 8,000 pound working load limit. You can see it's got this gold zinc plating on it for corrosion uh, protection. Very easy uh, open slide plates for simple rope mount. On the back side here we do have a grease fitting that's going to make it very easy for us to hook up our grease gun uh, and grease our axle there so it's going to function properly for us to make sure that that's going to turn freely. We also have these uh, safety lines stamped into the plate to uh, give us some overload monitoring to make sure that everything is safe. We're going to get two of these three-quarter inch shackles. Uh, these do have a brake strength of 57,000 pounds and a working load limit of 9.5 thousand. So we'll get two of those so we can easily hook up our uh, snatch block or our uh, recovery straps. We're also going to get a rock uh, bag wire rope dampener so uh, we can fill this up with rocks, have it sitting on our rope, uh, wire rope. So if it were to snap, uh, that's going to pull it to the ground instead of allowing it to fly freely potentially causing harm to us or others around. Uh, very simple to fill up with rocks, zip up, and it will fold flat when it's empty. It's constructed of a nice heavy-duty abrasion and tear-resistant material, so it will last a nice long time there. We're also going to get one pair of extra-large trail gloves. So these gloves are going to help protect your hands from abrasion, uh, sharp objects, and heat uh, from your winch being pulled in. It's got synthetic leather, uh, nylon, and polyurethane palms that are going to provide nice support uh, as we're working with our wire or synthetic winch rope. Uh, these are a durable form-fitting material, so they are going to be very snug, yet pretty comfortable. Um, we also have the elastic cuffs here that will allow us to uh, make sure we have a nice secure fit on our hands. And in addition to all this, we are going to also get this heavy-duty storage bag. It's going to allow us to store it all away, keep it organized. So this does have this heavy-duty molded plastic base, as well as a heavy-duty zipper up here at the top. So we can make sure everything is staying in place. Turn this around so you can see that zipper a little bit better. You can open it up, store everything inside there. Also has these loops that can be used for our shoulder strap or uh, to lock this with a padlock, which uh, would be sold separately. Uh, and then the handles themselves are very easy to lock together. Like so, so we have a nice handle to grip onto. Uh, this is about uh, 15 and 3 quarters of an inch long, 8 and a half inches wide, and 12 and, a uh, 12 and 1 eighth 
of an inch tall. It's got a weight capacity of 110 pounds, so it will do a good job of allowing us to organize all this, keep it stored um, under our back seat or uh, somewhere close by so that if we ever need any of these accessories uh, to recover our vehicle or another uh, vehicle, we'll have it all right there on hand. So that completes our look for today. Again, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Thanks for watching.